Today, most runways in the U.S. that can support instrument approaches are served by at least one RNAV GPS approach. Often, these approaches provide approved vertical guidance that you can follow to LPV minimums, a decision altitude like that specified for an ILS, if you have a WAS-capable GPS navigator. You can fly such so-called LPV approaches using the same techniques as you learn to track an ILS. But as you'll see in this video, it's important to understand that what you see when you break out often won't resemble the familiar runway environment associated with an ILS. An instrument landing system approach typically includes approach lights, pappies, runway markings, and other visual aids to help you transition from following the gauges to using visual cues to continue the descent and land. Those lights and runway markings may not be available, however, when you fly an RNAV approach to a runway that is not also served by ground-based nav aids. The basic requirements for lights and markings to support instrument approaches are summarized in an appendix in AC 150-5300. For example, an approach lighting system is required to publish visibility minimums less than three-quarters of a statute mile. Note also that the minimum runway length for an approach is only 3,200 feet although exceptions can be made for shorter runways. These details are one important reason why you should study approaches carefully as you prepare for an IFR flight and review the runway environment as part of your approach briefing when you set up for an instrument approach. Ride along as I fly two RNAV GPS approaches with LPV minimums to different runways. The first approach to Shelton, Washington is to a runway without approach lights. It has only a pappy and edge lights. The runway does have touchdown zone markings, wide white rectangles either side of the centerline stripes. But without approach lights, the LPV minimums are a DA of 250 feet and three quarters of a mile visibility, if you can meet a higher than standard missed approach climb gradient of 244 feet per nautical mile during the initial climb. The second RNAV approach at Bremerton, Washington, is to runway 20, which is also served by an ILS that includes approach lights, a PAPI, and precision approach markings. The LPV minimums for the RNAV approach match those for the ILS, a DA of 200 feet with one half mile visibility. Point, point, clearance, Bonanza 1546, Foxtrot IFR, Shelton. Into 1546 Foxtrot Boeing clearance, Q2 Shelton Airport via Nirvana, one departure, then as filed. Climb via SID, departure frequency. 119.2, one, squawk 4666. 1546, Fox, clear to Shelton, Nirvana 1, as file climb via the SID, 119.2, 4666. Bonanza 46, Fox, Trot, Rebecca is correct. Advise Ground and Tower National, contact your IFR. We'll call 46, Fox, Trot. Point Ground, Bonanza 1546, Fox, Trot, midfield, hangers, information, Papa, IFR. Bonanza 1954. Correction, 1546 Foxtrot, Boeing Ground, Roll 14 right Bravo 1, taxi via Bravo. 14 right Bravo 1 via Bravo, Bonanza 46 Foxtrot, we are running complete. Roger. Boeing Tower, Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot, 14 right Bravo 1, IFR. And it's 1546 Fox Trot, Boeing Tower, hold short, only 14 right, and number 2 for departure. Hold short, 14 right, Bonanza 1546 Fox Trot. Bonanza 46 Fox Trot, caution wish service for the departed citation ahead, runway 14 right, at level 1, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 14 right, Bonanza 46 Fox Trot. Chase at 388, contact sold departure, safe flight. Over to departure, exit at 388, good day. Approaching runway 14 right. Entered runway 14 right, 9,900 feet remaining. Power is set. Fuel flow's good, your speed's alive. Up we go. Positive rain, taxi light off, gear coming up. Gear up. And it's 46 Fox Rod, contact till departure, safe flight. Road to departure, 46 Fox good morning.
Delta 950, will you broadcast the 5-4 Whiskey Tone to Contact Center 120.3? 120.3, I'm sorry, what was the call sign for? 3 is 5-4 Whiskey. 5-4 Whiskey, contact center on 124.3, please. 2.3, 4.3, thanks. Sub 950, 2.0.3. I'll get him back, though. 120.3 for whiskey. Uh, 120.3 for 54 whiskey. Sub 950, they got that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come and maintain 15,000. 15,000. Sorry about that, sir. That's why I'm a pilot, not a controller. No worries. It's a lot of numbers. Exit 388, turn left heading 360. Left turn 360, exit 388. Departure Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot 1200 climbing uh, via the Nirvana 1. 1546 Foxtrot Seattle departure, you're ready to contact, climb and maintain 3000. 3000, 46 Foxtrot. 46 Foxtrot, let me know when you have the weather in Notam and Sanderson. We have the weather in Notam and Sanderson, 46 Foxtrot. Foxtrot. 46 Foxtrot, what approach are you looking for out there today? RNAV 23, uh, low approach, then go over to Bremerton Bonanza 46 Foxtrot. Okay, we're climbing out. Temps and pressures are good. Climbing to 3,000 now. Autopilot is on in GPS and uh, indicated airspeed hold. One five four six Fox Shot. You can expect to go pretty far south. We got to get you around departures, and then uh, we'll get you on course. Understood. Four six Fox one five four six box shot plotting one six zero. Heading one six zero four six five. Set at three eighty eight. Center maintain three thousand two hundred. We're now off. Center three thousand two hundred. Archer three eighty eight. Okay, we just departed Boeing Field. Uh, IFR tops uh, bases were about six hundred. Set at three eighty eight. Center maintain three thousand. Contact approach 128.5. En route to Shelton. Center 3000 and over to approach 285. To do the RNAV 23 to a low approach. We'll double check the weather there in just a minute. Romeo Fox, right? 10 degrees right, it's a vector for Seattle arrivals. We'll get you over here in about four months. Okay, 10 right for 19 uh, Romeo Fox, we're level 1 and They're still reporting about 600. Climb and maintain 900,000. 900,000, 1 back back. Station 1, Mike Mike, flighting 190, vector 2, get across over down, I'll get you on course here in about 5 miles. Heading 190, 1, Mike Mike. 1546 Fox Shot, contact approach on 120.1, one, see ya. 20.146 Fox Shot. Bravo 6 Lima Alpha, climb maintain 1313 South. Seattle approach, Bonanza 1546 Fox, right 3000, heading 160. And the 1546 Fox, right, Seattle approach, let me know when you get a the weather at Shelton. We have the weather and notice at Shelton, Bonanza 46 Fox. Thank you. Velocity 1132, contact Seattle Center, 1243. And the 46 Fox, right, heading 210. Right, heading 210, 46 Fox. Clear right, turn it right. Okay, the airplane's basically ready for the approach. We'll just have our final landing items, flaps, um, mixture from here. Engine's nice and stable. We will fly this first approach coupled. Flap 1410, you could direct to Suma, contact Seattle Center on 16.6. In the standard Bonanza configuration, so about 17 to 18 inches of manifold pressure, uh, flaps approach, gear down at the uh, glide path intercept, and then 110 knots down five. 1558, climbing to 1515 down. 
the runway at Shelton is 5,000 feet long. One thing to remember, though, the reason we're doing this is uh, it's got no approach lights. Uh, all it has is a... Uh, Pappy. And four six on veteran right right before you red, and it's going to be doing full stop. Negative low approach, and then uh, we want to go over to the RNAV two zero and Bremerton four six on red. Direct way red. Okay, we now got the approach active. We're going direct to oil red. We're at 3,000, that's probably what we'll get as our clearance. We'll go ahead and put the Shelton altimeter in 3017, and we'll go ahead and get uh, CTAF in standby. Our bearing pointers are set to Seattle and Olympia. Leave the power where it is for now, we've got a ways to go. We have uh, 558 for now, do not exceed 3,500. 10 minutes to Oi Red. Get an update on the weather. Visibility 1 0. Sky condition overcast 600. Temperature 1 7 Celsius. Dew point 1 6 Celsius. Altimeter 3 0 1 8. Remarks. Uh, okay, so still, still good visibility underneath the clouds at 600. Uh, updated the altimeter 3 0 1 8. So the approach is now active. We're just going over the top of uh, Air McCord, heading over the top of uh, Tacoma Narrows inbound. We've got about nine five minutes five, six, to Oi Red. Normal speed, contact center when you we'll slow down in a minute. Then four six box nine. Change my frequency one two zero point one if you're not already. One two zero point one, but that's where we are. Four six box nine. Okay, thanks for the way right at 3000, you cleared straight in, RNAV, runway uh, 25 at... Oh. Okay, cross way right at uh, 3000, cleared straight in, RNAV uh, 23 at Shelton, Bonanza 464. 23, that's right there. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Uh, set our horsey altitude of 2000. Right, 2007, contact Seattle Center on 126.6. Activate VNAV. And approach mode is also uh, active, we've got. So we have uh, VPATH and GlidePath and GPS are all either active or armed, ready for this approach. We are seven minutes, 50 seconds from uh, Oi Red. We're gonna wait until we get a couple minutes out and we'll reduce our power and set up our happy place. We have the uh, CTAF standing by. The engine's nice and happy. All our other gauges are good. And we'll do a coupled miss on this using the autopilot. Get us started out. We won't go all the way out to the hold at Ulysses, but the missed approach there is uh, a climb straight ahead. Five, zero two seven. Put your one five down. Set our minimums. Five twenty three. Okay, we think we've got the panel set up now. Class Delta We're below. We're direct to uh, Oi Red. We are about six and a half minutes from Oi Red. We're level 3,000. We're cleared for the approach to cross Oi Red at 3,000. Cleared Last straight in. Then it's down to 2,000 at Corsi, then down uh, via the uh, LPB glide path to 523. We can do those lower minimums because we have the climb performance um, required. We've set the altimeters. Again, as we said earlier, there's no approach lights. Uh, there's just a uh, uh, glide path indicator, visual glide path indicator at uh, Shelton. Runway's 5,000 feet long. The miss is a climb straight ahead out to hold at uh, US. But again, we don't expect to do that today. Tops out here are around 2,300 after our departure from uh, Boeing Field. And after that, we're going to get vectors back to uh, Burberton to do the uh, RNAV 20 there, uh, followed by what will probably be the ILS 14 right at Boeing Field. 
And again, the weather at Shelton, we had 10 miles of visibility beneath the 600 uh, foot ceiling. So we have well above the minimums. This uh, LPB takes us down to 250 feet AGL. We've set those minimums. I'm gonna put uh, the other approach frequencies. In case we have trouble on 20.1. A little bit of wind up here, not much, only four knots out of the south. Then 465, John, I'll be over to advise you when you're on the straight end. For planning purposes, on your missed approach, you can contact me on 121.1. Okay, we'll fly the published missile at 121.1 on the missed 465. That's what we've got set up now. Exact airport, information, golf is down current, still altimeter 3020. Okay, we're just under three minutes. It takes us about a minute and a half to kind of slow down when we're clean, so I'm going to uh, bring the power back in about two minutes. Okay, we've got Olympia number one, Seattle number two, bearing pointers, just for uh, references. Swapped them around. Okay, we're about two minutes out. I'm going to reduce the power now smoothly to about 18 inches. Manifold pressure will leave the prop where it is. Starting to slow down. We're below our flap speed now. But this will get us a little bit slower. I don't like to put, thing, put the flaps gear out right at the published speed. This will slow us down to around 120 knots clean level. And it takes about a minute and a half or so for that speed to stabilize under normal conditions. Nice and smooth today though. Uh, top of descent coming up, that's where we'll extend our approach flaps so that uh, we keep things under uh, control. About a minute 30 from uh, Boy Red, three miles. Okay, so that's our announced one minute to the vertical track. We're about, we're about coming back to 120 knots. Uh, 228, rate of contact, I'm not where we expected. And again, you can see we're right at about 120 knots in this configuration, clean, which is a nice way to start an approach to the Bonanzas. Here comes the vertical path marker. We only have to go down uh, 300, uh, correction, we're going to go down 1,000 feet. Down to 2,000 once we cross away red. Okay, here comes the deep path. Flaps approach, speed checks. Down we come. That'll keep our speed where we want it. Here's our turn toward the final approach fix. We're now going to Porsi, four and a half miles, just under, uh, just about two minutes. Gear out when we get the glide path intercept. But at the four six box shot, there's no traffic observed between you and Shelton. Change frequency is approved. Not gonna go. Thank you, four six box shot. Sanderson traffic, Bonanza, 4-6, Fox Trots, uh, 9 mile final, 1-2-3, low approach, Shelton Sanderson. We'll go ahead and activate the lights, such as they are. Okay, we've got two and a half miles to Porsi, a minute. A little bit of a crosswind now out of the south, about 12 knots up here. Power back just a little bit. Flight path is coming in. 
One and a half miles to Porcy, 40 seconds. Just approach altitude is uh, 3200. We'll get that once we've uh, started down the glide path. Checks gear coming down. Taxi light on. Three green. LPP is enunciated. Glide path is now active. I'll put 32 up here. What a miss. We're about 1,500 feet above the ground, about 1,000 to go. Shelton Sanderson, Bonanza, 4-6 Foxtrot, 4 mile final, runway 23, low approach, Shelton Sanderson. In the groove. Went down to 523. Just a tad slow. Up the power up just slightly. Easter's coming rich, it is rich. Three green approach flaps were configured. About a thousand feet above the ground, a little bit of ground contact. Two mile final runway two three. Two and a half miles to the runway. Shelton Sanderson traffic, Bonanza four six Fox about two mile final, low approach runway two three. Shelton Sanderson. Runway's coming into sight, uh, sight at about one and a half miles. We're in the groove. Broke out at about 600 AGL. 500. Getting ready to go, missed. See, this runway does have markings, but there's no approach lights. And, um, or other visual aids to help you down. A little bit of rain on the windshield. Here we come down to minimums. There's minimums. Power's coming in. Open the cow flaps. Gear coming up. Positive rate. Climbing out. Flaps coming up. Seattle approach, Bonanza 1546 Fox Road, 1300 on the miss. Number 1546 Fox, Seattle approach, right there. 1546 Fox, that's rid of contact. Just off those Nelson, House is in case 1500. You want to do the full publish? There it is, one back to the back permit. Vectors for the RNAV 20 at Bremerton, please. 46 Fox, we have the one minute weather. Roger, pass through 3,000, turn left heading of 07, so we can now go to Bremerton there for the Raider Vector. Climb maintain 4,000. Climb maintain 4,000 and 070 out of uh, 3,000, 4,600. Okay, 070 on the heading. Approach uh, Bonanza 46 Foxtrot. After this approach at Bremerton, it's like a low approach and then back to uh, Boeing Field for the ILS. 
the 46 Fox. I think you can find on the published list. I'll get you back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, 46 Fox. Alright, this is 1C38, contact Seattle Center, 1C6.6, clear it National Airport. Automated weather observation. One six zero six Zulu. Wind two zero zero at zero four. Visibility one zero. Sky condition overcast three hundred. Temperature one seven Celsius. Dew point one seven Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, two, one. Okay, we've got the weather updated there. Let's go here and we'll add Bremerton. That's 465, did you say you already do have the weather at Bremerton? Yes, sir, we just got the one minute weather at Bremerton, 465. Okay, we're getting set up for the uh, RNAV runway 20 at Bremerton. We've got the weather, it's... Um, 300, ceiling 300 with uh, 10 mile visibility and uh, light winds. The altimeter 3021, we've set that two times. We're level 4000 now uh, on a vector heading 070 to get established for that approach. And uh, I'm just in the normal cruise, low speed cruise configuration for the moment. We've got a ways to go. So this is a different setup when we get down there. This approach, this runway at Bremerton is served by an ILS, so it has a full complement of approach lights and so forth. We'll remember to turn activate those contact as contact. we uh, get near the final approach fix on the CTAF. Uh, give you a different view of um, what it's like when you're flying to uh, non-towered airports or have approaches. And four six five turn left heading zero one zero. Left zero one zero four six five. Left zero one zero four six five. Right, one able change uh, back to my frequency one two zero point one. Switching now one two zero point one four six five. Right, one two zero point one four six five. Right, zero one zero six five. Thank you. As I, as I was saying, we're getting vectors now to, uh, up to 2088, that'll put your contact. Fly this approach, I'm not clear yet whether he's going to take us up the west side or the east side. Okay, with 37, this heading looks like we might be on the uh, west side. Pressures and temps are good, engine looks good. We'll notice the uh, GPS indicates suspend. That's because we are on the airport side of the final approach fix. That's normal, but something we want to check as we um, continue the procedure to make sure that that gets turned active. I'm going to go ahead and remove Shelton. Just clean things up a little bit. Okay, so this is the RNAV runway 20. We're doing a low approach to it. Not quite clear yet where we're getting vectored. I'm assuming maybe off the left to the west side of the airport, so we'll be joining it. A little bit unusual, but uh, probably between Gitry and Wamox. Uh, we'll have to be down at 2,500 at Wamox. Then it's down the LPV glide path to 642. We have set those minimums. There is a VDP, it's so worth we won't be using that today. Oh, 3320, The missed approach is a climb straight ahead initially out to Seabod, then a turn toward Cairo. We're planning to fly the published miss until we get vectors out for the ILS uh, back at Boeing Field. This 
swap the navs back around. So we have Seattle in number one and uh, Olympia number two on the bearing pointers just for backup. Number 813, you're showing a little bit east of course, so you're showing on Victor 165. And the airplane is in good shape for the approach. All the gauges look good. Carol 7797, contact Seattle Center on 126.6 today. That's 46 Boxer, 3000. 3,400, 4,600. 4,400, 4,600. 4,400, 4,600. 4,400, 4,600. 4,400, 4,600. 4,400, 4,600. 4,400, 4,600. 5 west of the uh, airport. Uh, 173, contact that west of 1250. Go ahead and bring the power back. We're waiting on that 2-3 clock and 6 miles north down, 737, 16 Okay, we're looking at the direction of shooting. Seattle Birch, good morning, 8 7 Foxtrot, climbing 4000, and heading 260. 8 7 Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Seattle Birch, thanks. Okay, 200 to go. Right 7 Foxtrot, Foxtrot, turn 10 degrees to the left. 10 to the left, 8, 7, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. We're right over this higher terrain that's just to the northwest of the Bremerton Airport. With the Olympic Mountains off to the uh, west, off our left wing. So I brought the power back. So we can decelerate here as we level off. We have to 15,000. So we have a downwind getting ready for a right, uh, right pace leg to join the final. And we're slowing down back to our, about our happy place. 120 knots clean. This power setting. Knowing the numbers really helps you uh, manage the airplane without a lot of extra work. You can use the autopilot as I am today to help you learn what those settings are and what the resulting performance is, and then you can fly them with confidence. Yeah, we are set up for this approach except for the final landing items. Should expect a right turn here shortly. We're still suspended because we're still just barely... Yeah, on. Four, six. Uh, do you mind just giving us uh, a turn back to the north for uh, the to uh, get configured here? Two more 46, potentially approach points, maintain 2,000. Turn right, heading up 250. Okay, right turn, heading 250, come on, first six, thanks. Cancel first one. Yeah, there's a smart pilot. Needs a little more time, so just ask for a delay vector. Four, six, next to fly heading of one, uh, first one heading of 200. Zero, zero. I'll just bring you down a little bit closer. Okay, 200, zero, zero. appreciate the help. Four, six. And add the four, six, box, try to maintain 2,500. 2,500, four, six, five. Alaska 1080, contact Seattle Center on 128.3, good day. Seattle Center, Alaska 1080, Expect this turn shortly. Again, more 46, let me know when you're ready to see first. Speed will go approach flaps. Just in case we can bring up Gitry or activate the leg between low fall and Gitry. Alright, it's a Fox 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 270 and we I affirm that we have the middle weather at Bremerton. Thank you. So Fox Shop Fox then for my plane purposes, what would you like after? Uh we would like 
to uh, just shoot it again, actually. 87 Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Right. Hey, come on, 46, we're ready to go now. Sorry about that. 46, not a problem. Turn left turn one five. Okay, left turn one five zero. Come on, 46. So 46 Fox, guys, turn right, heading of uh, one zero zero. Heading one uh, zero zero. 46 Fox. Come on, 46. Turn left, heading of one two zero. I'll bring your uh, tight turn in, and then uh, back on the wheel. Okay, okay well, uh, left turn one two zero. Come on, 46. Thanks. So here's our base leg. Leveling 2,500. We're 464 miles from then, we're doing 150. Maintain 2,000 until it's out of the localized good island for Okay, right turn 150, maintain 2,000 until established on the localized cliff for the ILS 17 tomorrow. 46, thanks. Number 87, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, 3,000. 7, 3,000, 87, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Okay, so we're basically at our happy place here. Approach flaps. Just about 110 knots, 112 here. Looks like we're going to be aimed right at Gitry. Five hundred set. We can, uh, once we get, we'll get the nav and approach uh, active. Once we get cleared for the approach. Okay, more four six contact. Come to tower. Three day. Over to tower. Thank you as well. Come four six. At four six box. Start turn right heading of one eight zero. You are five miles from Woma. Maintain two thousand five hundred till till five thousand five hundred. Four cleared. Our nav and with two zero approach. Right heading one eight zero two thousand five hundred to establish cleared the RNAV two zero approach. Bonanza four six four. Okay, glide path GPS for ninety seven approach through radar contact. We're a little bit slow because of the turn. Approach mode is now uh, armed. We have GPS and glide path armed. We just have landing gear at the glide path. LPP is enunciated. We have the CTF standing by. Power is set. Four miles, two and a half minutes from Womax. About six comes the final approach course. Comes to Well, not slow, but I'm going to leave the power where it is. The gear will come in down at the glide path intercept, and that'll put us pretty much on our profile. Here comes the GPS is now enunciated. We're turning toward the final approach course. Uh, 7 Fox, 7 Fox, that's ground dating at 340. 340, 8 7 Fox, 7 Fox, 7 Fox. Alaska 1090, climbing to 15 now. And four six box. Now, there's no time to observe between you and Bremerton Airport. Report on your missed approach frequency, frequencies. Okay, we're switching now. Thanks for your help. We'll report on the miss. Four six box. Okay, Bremerton traffic. Bonanza. Four six box. Trots eight mile final runway two zero low approach. Bremerton. So you can see we're about 10 knots slow, but I'm going to wait until we start uh, down. I'm not going to make any power adjustments at this point. We're nice and stable. The power is set.
Once we start down, I'll make a final adjustment if necessary. Step the landing gear. Flight path marker is, uh, preview is coming down. We're about 2,400 feet above the ground. Here comes the glide slope. The glide path. There's one box. Gear coming down. Speed checks gear is coming down. Taxi lights on, three green. Glide path is active. So we'll leave our power alone for a moment, see where our speed stabilizes. bit slow today. I'm going to add just a touch of power. Back to about 18 inches now. Let's see how that gets us. Okay, missed approach altitude is 4,000. Around the CTAF will activate the lights. Now back in the groove. On uh, center line, on glide path, on speed. We're configured three green approach flaps, mixture switch, props at 25 for the miss. Got a little bit of a headwind out of here, just off our left, slightly. Four mile final. Two and a half minutes. Three mile final runway two zero. Tops out here about one thousand seven hundred or so. Bremerton traffic, Bonanza four six Fox for a three mile final runway two zero, low approach, Bremerton. About 500 feet to go. Direction. 700 feet to go. Here we go. We are in the groove, just a very slight uh, crosswind component. Went down to 642. Two mile final. On speed. The groove three green. A little bit of ground contact. Five hundred. Six hundred feet above the ground. Still no runway. About three hundred feet to go. Approach lights in sight. About five hundred feet. Ready for the miss. Approach Bonanza 1546 Foxtrot 1300 on the miss. That's 1546 Foxtrot, still approach your ident. Foxtrot is radar contact south of Bremerton Airport, and altitude to maintain uh, 2000. Stay again, the altitude 46 Foxtrot. 46 Foxtrot, main altitude, uh, altitude to maintain 2000. 
maintain 2,046 Foxtrot. And we have uh, information to come back at point two. Thank you, I'll be turning for you shortly. All right, 87 Foxtrot, Fox, got you cleared, ILS 620 Bremerton. Cleared ILS 20 Bremerton, 87 Foxtrot, Foxtrot.